Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign for Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm, this is probably the fourth time I've tried to record this sequence. I continue to run into a bug, so I'm probably going to have to cut this video again and, until essentially I can get past the buggy part. It's annoying, but that's what I have to work with. So. More or less, there's a scripting error where an enemy is walking up to me instead of, and trying to attack me physically instead of doing the summoning attack, thing he's supposed attack, to do. Attack. But uh, we might as well just go through this uh, sequence here and get uh, on with it. Now, this uh, is essentially just a wave of really weak enemies that are just continuously charging in. And, uh, well, they're annoying, but they're not particularly hard. Uh, I might lose a couple of the dwarves if I really kind of like, sit back and act like an idiot. These dwarves are not considered to be in your party, so they will not uh, be affected by seeing the light. But, uh, the enemies that come in are fairly weak, so actually really all you have to do to win this is just stand here and spam Sunburst. I suppose I should spam it at a slightly slower frequency, give them time to come back in, but as you can see, we're not having any trouble whatsoever just splattering them. And obviously I'm out, so I'll have to switch down to Empowered Firebrands. And now that I'm out, I'll switch over to having Eleni do it. Did I mention that Sunburst is one of my favorite spells? Usually for the blinding effect, but here it's for the uh, damage to undead effect. Just fine with it. And, well, I guess that guy's just gonna have to die to the dwarves or something. Your party members are really stupid about this area. They will walk up into this sort of gatehouse area, and the camera does not handle that well. So, it's just something to be aware of. It's actually better to have them hold position and uh, let your summons and such deal with it. But I also have a whole bunch of scrolls of Sunburst made, so I'm just going to continue sitting here spamming Sunburst and just showing you how hard this fight is not. Because these enemies, even if you do let them get through, uh, die just this quickly. There are a couple of them. There's, uh, I think, like a, a behemoth skeleton or something that's actually kind of difficult. These dread, ancient dread, the normal dread wraiths are really kind of a, you know, a pushover. The ancient dread wraith is something. But I'm probably going to reload this because it's probably not going to script properly. And I'm going to it just... I'm just getting through this as quickly as possible. Um, I could actually just buff up and do it sort of legitimately, quote-unquote, but... Well, let's see, I only have five scrolls of Sunburst left. Let's switch to something else. Uh, how about Undeath to Death? May, may not work on this uh, skeleton. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, no. It it worked just fine. Captain! We can't keep this up forever! There are too many! And even with Dawn's light! You can do nothing! You think Dawn favors you, soldiers of Neverwinter? By my lord's grace, I can make even creatures of darkness unafraid of your precious light with but a few thoughts. Now, Captain, you will return my keep to me. How about no? We must deal with Darius and quickly. As long as he maintains this spell, the legions under his command will only grow stronger. Okay, 
Finally, my it lord. Fall before the might. Okay. Finally, I got this to work. Now, what was happening previously is Black Garius here was going off to fight these Grey Cloak fighters, and he wasn't actually summoning the Nightwalker. And unless the Nightwalker's here, you can't actually continue with the plot. Um, yes. So that's kind of awkward, but I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, yes. The one important thing, I... Hush, this what is it? We're just reloading this. This is not ex the same save. Um, because I've been trying to just get through this again and again yes. to try and get it to work. Um, so I'm going to have to cast a couple buffs here. Um, the most important buff for this battle is mine blank or some animal, some version thereof to give you immune, immunity to uh, mind-affecting spells, because otherwise you will simply uh, run into serious problems. By the shadows because of they, he will cast fear at you, and uh, well, By it, won't the end bad. Of it won't end well. It you'll have all your, your party members limits. running around like idiots. And I guess I'll leave him to do what he does best, whatever that happens to be. Throw that. And I'm actually gonna crushing grasp and whatnot, the fireball, the uh, Nightwalker too. Black Arius is actually supposed to just be uh, hiding in the background, but, uh, well, he's not, because he's being stupid. This thing isn't that hard, though I probably shouldn't be kidding if you have the staff of magic. What? How? How? Is this possible? How could you defeat it? The sword was broken. Broken! Now is the time. We must begin the recitation. I am ready. Well, somebody get on with it. I lay me a ring. And this is all scripted. You don't actually control any of this. Run, Garius, run! Dawn comes and the enemy flees! Wipe them out! Well, that was annoying. Victory! The enemy flees! Send the scouts to harry them, but do not engage. We already hold the field. The day is ours. You have done well. Better than we could have hoped. Your leadership has saved this keep and preserved the lives of many soldiers. Lord Nasher thanks you, as do I. And, you know, we'll toss some props to the soldiers for some, I think it's some plus lawful. Know that you have fought well this day. But as long as the King of Shadows remains within his fortress, there is no victory. We must find a way to reach him to pierce the veil of shadows around him. If we cannot, then we have lost. And it is only a matter of time for us. I think perhaps it is time to see what Aldenon has found. Well, that was fun. I gained my level off screen. There's only one quirk. I know all the level nine spells, but I only have one level nine spell slot which means I'm going to have trouble actually casting all of them. The final area of the game is a bit of different in that uh, you you can rest there nominally, but it's such a royal pain that I want to avoid it uh, just for the sake of my own sanity. As you can see, I have no shortage of scrolls, so I am just going to go through and cast all the level 9 spells, which is what I said I would do. 
Um, but I'm going to cast them all onto scrolls and then use the scrolls rather than use the uh, actual spells from memory. Uh, there's a couple I might actually bother to learn from memory. Meteor Swarm in particular uh, doesn't work uh, the way it should when it's used from scroll. And there's actually a scroll or two that uh, Etherealness, for example, doesn't actually work properly. I have a scroll of it here. Um, but instead of actually casting Etherealness, it casts Ethereal Jaunt, which is the level 7 spell. Oops, they uh, miscoded that. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of scrolls and be right back. I admit I'm not casting all the spells on screen, but I think you can pretty much take it on faith that I'm able to do so. That weird sound you're hearing is the sort of gith reforming in my hand. It does that. Great! What's wrong now? If you talk to your companions here, they don't actually say anything new, which is sort of obnoxious. You can also talk to Uncas, and uh, he actually has something new to say, but he doesn't have anything new to sell, so there's not much point. Uh, pretty much all we have to do is talk to Aldenon. At last! This tome you found! Quite a wondrous thing, really. I was able to use it to... I suppose the best layman's term is unfetter the connections between here and there. Unfetter? And where is there and here exactly? Yes, you see the tome has a certain duality to it, like two pages facing each other in a closed book. If you open them, they are apart, but closed, they are right next to each other. You see? That is the most genius thing I have ever heard! Yeah, Grobnar doesn't get out much. So... The book can make two points closer together? Yes, the tome can make a doorway, and it can also pinpoint a location within the veil. But what he's really saying is that we can use the tome to teleport into the lethal heart of Mayor Delane, which everyone seems to agree is a great idea, for some reason that is unfathomable to me. Yes, that's it. Should all work well in theory, really? Yeah, let's not get into the details of that and just say, let's go. All right. Just a few last inscriptions to trace. A brief activation word. And yes, in fact, everybody in my party is actually in my party for once. And Aldenon is walking around like an idiot. But uh, they don't keep it that way. There'll be one more point before the end of the game where you sort of have one mega party. Uh, for everything else, you have that arbitrary headcount limit, which is kind of strange. It's also kind of strange that the arbitrary headcount limit changes during the game. It's like, well, since Chandra joined, we realized we had another space. Good fortune to you, Captain. And the same for me, Captain. May the gods watch over you. Good luck to you all. We will almost likely die if you fail, but try to keep that from your mind. Oh, that's a comforting thought. My... I really do like those adventurers, such spirit. To face a being like the King of Shadows? Well, I'd rather see that from a distance, I can tell you that. Well, we're going to have to see it next episode, because, well, we are moving to the final area, but it'll probably be another episode or two before we're done. See you next time.